Hello and thank you for watching the Compass Sanctuary eligibility video. Hopefully by now you will have watched the previous videos that tell you what the Compass Sanctuary Scholarship is and what courses are on offer to its applicants. This video will make sure that you understand what the criteria is to be accepted onto the scholarship and what documentation you will need when you apply. So firstly, there is a general criteria which is based on the aims of the Sanctuary Scholarship to make sure that the people entering onto the programme will get the most out of the experience. The Compass project offers opportunities to individuals who would otherwise not be able to access university level education elsewhere. As a result, we prioritise applicants who meet the following criteria. Those who have not previously studied a degree at a UK institution. Those who have been out of formal education, including secondary education, for more than five years. And those who can demonstrate a commitment to their studies. The scholarship is aimed at individuals from the forced migrant community who are restricted from accessing the usual funding resources. We therefore ask that applicants to the scholarship meet one of the following criteria. You have made a claim for asylum in the UK and not yet had a, had a decision. You are currently appealing an asylum decision and can provide evidence that you have made a fresh claim. You have made a claim under Article 8 of the European Convention of Human Rights and not yet had a decision. Or you have been granted temporary status as a result of an asylum claim or an Article 8 of the European Convention of Human Rights claim. Examples of these include limited leave to remain or discretionary leave to remain. If you have a different status, such as refugee or humanitarian protection, you may be eligible to apply for a government student loan to cover the cost of university. Students with these statuses are therefore not eligible to receive funding from the Compass Sanctuary Scholarship. If you do fall under this category, you can still benefit from the pre-entry support and advice offered by the Compass Project, and we would love to hear from you, so please do get in touch with us. You can read more about funding options available to you on our website, along with other general advice. When you make an application to the scholarship, you will need to provide evidence that you hold one of the statuses previously listed. You will be able to upload a copy of this document when you make an application. They need to be one of the following. An application registration card or an art card. A letter from the Home Office confirming that you have made an application. Or a biometric residence permit. Something to note here is that as an institution, we are obliged to check that you do not hold a no study condition as a result of an immigration bail condition. This check will be carried out once you have been made an offer to the Compass project and we do not check this during the application process. This process will be explained to you once you've been accepted onto the Compass project and your consent will be taken before we do this check. You also need to consider the entry requirements that are attached to the course you wish to apply for. You must be able to meet these and to be made an offer for this course by the admissions team before we can officially make you an offer for the scholarship. You do not need to have been made a formal offer for the course at the time of making an application. If you are made an offer to the scholarship, but are unfortunately unable to meet the entry requirements of the course, a different course may be suggested to you. Some students are also encouraged to come back the following year. One area this is 
particularly important for is English language. Although it is not necessary to have a formal English language qualification, you must have a good level of English language, both written and spoken, in order to keep up with the demands of the university curriculum. The very final criteria in order to be eligible for the Compass Sanctuary Scholarship is that you must be a resident in the UK. You must also not be eligible to receive student finance. And you need to have made an application to the course by the time you make an application to the Sanctuary Scholarship. You also need to be willing to travel into central London for lectures and seminars. Remember that we are here to help, so if you are unsure about your eligibility for the programme, please do get in touch with us. Thank you for watching.